That's the reverse fan. So why don't we get started off by teaching the man's part first. Okay, men, what you're going to do is sort of trickier in the beginning because you're going to do a quick, quick, just use and contra action. So watch my feet as I do this. They're not going to be changing at all other than the weight. Quick, quick. I've changed from my left foot to my right foot for that quick, quick. Then I'm going to take my left foot, put it behind. I let it swing out and around and behind as far as I can get it. Then I bring it back to the closed position. And I repeat that action again. In place, quick, quick. Just the contra. And then I put that foot behind. And then I bring it together again. So we do it twice. And then we're going to do the tangle close. Forward, side, and a drag. So it looked like this. I'm going to do my, my first movements in place, just contra motion. Contra motion, and then put my foot behind. See how the woman's going to let her foot swing around too. And I face her again, and I repeat the action. And bring my foot back and touch. Come back to the closed position and then do the tangle close. Tangle close. Okay, the important thing here is for the man to have a good strong balance when he's leading that quick, quick because he's going to make the woman step to the side and come back in front of him. So make sure when you're doing those, you, know, you keep your feet together and just use contra motion on that first part. Now the women, their part. Watch this. When she first starts off, the man's using his contra motion, it's going to cause her to step to the side with her right foot. And then she's going to step, put her weight back onto her left foot. So she's going to go side and put her weight back on that left foot. And she's going to let that leg, her uh, right leg swing all the way around until it comes around and touches the man's foot. Then she's going to come back around, face him, and you're going to repeat that step again to the side and come all the way around and touch the foot and then face him. You've done it twice. Now you put a tangle close on the end of it, which is a back, side, and a drag. So let's do that again. The contra motion is going to cause the woman to step to the side. Then she's going to let that leg swing all the way around and touch the man's foot. Face him and repeat the action. Let it swing all the way around, touch his, face him, and then your tangle close. Tangle close. That is your directional movement. Now we have timing. 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 Okay, the timing for this. If you've had the fan and you've had the lunge, the timing is exactly the same. Your first part is quick, quick. That is your contra motion. Your fans, where you come around and touch the heel, those are slows. So it's going to be two slows there. So it's going to be quick, quick, slow, slow, and then repeat. Quick, quick, slow, slow, and then your tango close. Oh. Okay, if Maestro will give us uh, some music here, we'll demonstrate the step to the time. Is your timing. Now we're going to do lead and follow. Okay, to lead into this step, it's a little tricky, but we can do it. The first part is contra. I had mentioned contra before, so we're going to use contra with just good resistance. That makes her step to the side. Contra. After this, I want to swing her around. I'm going to use the palm of my hand and also the hand that I have my, uh, our palms together here, I'm going to push her on around until she spans all the way around until our heels are touching. So I'm going to use the heel of my hand 
and bring her back and clear around until our heels are touching. That's the slow. Then I have to use my fingertips, make her face me, and then I repeat the action again. So I use contra, and then I let her swing around, and then I face her. But you've got to use your fingertips to make her face you. And then the rest of the step is your tangle close, and that's just your resistance for that step. Okay, can you add anything for the women to help them with this fan on the uh, follow on it? Actually, yes. You know, uh, sometimes I, when I first started, I had a tendency and I'd go down and I'd drag on his shoulder and that makes it difficult for him. So you want to make sure that you stand up straight and don't hang on him. That's a good one. Because a lot of people try to go down low on it. Now you can go down low on it, but you have to, it has to be planned. Otherwise, you're going to pull your partner over. We suggest for you to do it in a more upright position when you swing around for those heels to touch. So it actually is easier if you keep your your back arched and stand straight. Right. Okay. Anything else on the styling? I um, mean the, the lead. On the lead. Um, just resistance. Yeah, it's just resistance. Now we have styling. Styling for this step. For the man, stand proud, stand straight. Just use your contra. Make sure your feet stay together when you're doing that first quick, quick. Women, on that first quick, quick, you're going to look over your left shoulder. Quick, quick. Notice how she looked over her shoulder on that first quick? Quick quick. Then she's going to fan on around and when she fans around your heels touch, she should be looking away from her partner. And how much do you look away? Just about an 8.45. You're right. The man also looks away from her part, his partner. And notice my foot, our feet are actually pointing, our toes are pointing toward each other. If we get a camera on the foot, I don't know if you can see that, but if you notice our toes are at an angle there to one another. And then we come back up. And we're just standing straight again. So the, the first part, the woman has her head action, and the man is using her contra. And then she swings on around. She looks away from her partner. The man looks away too. And then they snap back up. Another thing in styling on this step, we use what we call staccato. Mm -hmm. The best way to describe staccato, it's a quick hold action on, on your slows. So... If we were counting the beats, let's say, the first two are quicks, so that would be one, two. You come around and touch on three, hold four. Now you kind of face your partner. Five, hold six. You notice that gives a quick hold action to the dance. That's staccato. And that's what you want in this step is staccato. That makes a nice styling. And it also looks good, ladies, when you come back, if you get your foot in a... Is that a fourth position, third position? Third, third position. position thank you. Third position is heel to arch. Heel to arch. I should have just said that. I'd been safe. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the styling to the step. Mm -hmm. That completes all four elements. Mm -hmm. Now we're ready to put all these elements together if we have some music here. <laughs> 